Calm down, class. So this is the first part of the easy peasy lemon squeezy section. So today we're talking about oscillators or oscillators if you know how to pronounce your silent C's. We're talking about these because that is what makes most of the sound in most synthesizers. The buzz. So imagine you were like made of Lego and you could remove your voice box and get it away from um, your mouth that makes it sound all weird and affects it. And you've just got the, ah, uh, you know, that's pretty oscillatory. An oscillator in electronic terms is usually a circuit that makes voltages go up and down and up and down and up and down, round and round and round and round. Just oscillating around like this, right down from a low frequency oscillation. It's called an LFO. And you can speed it up through the audio range. Oh, oh, speed up. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, there's dogs barking now. There's dogs barking. I can't hear it. You get the idea. The higher it sounds, it just means the quicker it's oscillating. So this is a pretty sorry excuse for an oscillator. Actually, this is three oscillators in there. Sometimes they look a lot simpler. Sometimes they look more complicated. This is a triple analog oscillator. Let's turn it on. So, that's what it sounds like. Let's lower it down. It's oscillating slowly. Speeds up. It's not much fun just hearing it. What does it look like? What if your ears were eyes? What would they see? Shh, shh. Be quiet, man. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, he gets a bit scared every so often. What's going on here? Whoa. It looks like we've gone to 8-bit Egypt or something. It looks like a triangle. That's because this wave is called a triangle wave. That is a sawtooth wave which is basically, it goes duh, duh. sounds a bit different, a bit more sharper. Square wave. It goes from left to right, which is time, up and down, which is voltages. And this is a tiny snippet of time, which is pretty amazing. Like, you're, it's just a little snapshot of what you're hearing. The interesting thing is, is when you see it's getting higher, there's more triangles. And there's, there's less triangles. And there's more. So how come octaves sound the same but higher? It's basically because there's twice as many waves and at each octave you go up, it doubles the amount of waves in it, which is, it's nuts. It sounds the same but twice as high. And it looks the same but twice as many. How crazy is that? So why does it sound so not very interesting? Why is it just going Meh? That's because that's all an oscillator does. You know, a simple oscillator like this just makes the buzzing sounds. So what about two oscillators at the same time? What happens there? You can see there's like one quite dominant oscillator, which is, seems to be carrying the other one. Ooh. To be honest, I have no idea what's going on. But I like it. Oh, look at that. It's like you can hear the harmony and it's just, it's kind of like, look at that. He looks great. He's never looked so good. What about a very slow oscillator controlling both of those? That's not very slow. Well, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Gee whiz! You're gonna see, you're gonna hear it soon. Why don't we add a third? But that is an introduction to oscillators. I'm gonna be going through a lot of other very simple concepts. So keep it, keep it, keep it easy. 